Hey guys, Gabby here from Ray Studios and today I'm going to be comparing three of the most popular photo frames in the market today. Hey guys, I'm Gabby, you're watching Ray Studios and today I'm going to be comparing the Godzilla album with the NYX Play with the Aura photo frame. So these three digital photo frames are quite popular nowadays. This one coming into the market very recently, but it make a pretty big splash. I reviewed it not too long ago. You can click right there to go watch that review. So it has some unique features, but let's see how it compared to some other photo frames. So let's just start with build quality. Let's begin with the aura. So the aura seems relatively solid, but as you touch it, you feel a texture and that texture it kind of feels like something came out of a 3D printer. Uh, I'm not saying it's bad, but I, I wouldn't say it's good either. Then we have the NYX Play, and the NYX Play looks kind of fancy. It looks like it has gold on the side. I like the how the, the, the texture is a, a little bit too complex for me. I like more simple, minimalist kind of designs. But yeah, I guess for some maybe older people, they might like this style. The one thing I don't quite like about it is that even so it looks like it could be expensive, when you touch it, it feels cheap. And then the stand is not particularly great. It's very flimsy. Now let's take a look at the Cosilla. The Cosilla have a design that reminds me a lot of IKEA products or even Apple products. It's very clean. And one thing very remarkable is that they went with 100% recyclable materials. And even so it's recyclable materials, you will think, okay, maybe the quality is not good, but quite the opposite. It's the one that feels the most solid out of the tree. So I guess point to the Cosilla. When it comes to the screen, they all have a 10 inch screen. And this one is not touch sensitivity because you have a touch bar here on the top. This is touch sensitivity, same as the Cosilla app, but I believe like the Cosilla app have a better, more intuitive menu that is easy to access, especially for the elderly. Another great feature of the Cosilla album is that it have a light ambient sensor. So if the light dims in your home, especially when you go to sleep or you're watching a movie, this will also dim the screen. And these two digital photo frames don't have that. And I think that's pretty big deal because you having your digital photo frame in the same room where you sleep, you don't want it to be like blasting a lot of light. It will bother you while you're sleeping. So having ambient sensor is pretty useful. The other thing is that we also have a gyroscope in this one and this one, while this one doesn't. So if you want to go into landscape mode, it will automatically adjust the picture for that. When it's come to storage, they all have on board 10 gigabytes, but these have unlimited free storage on the cloud, while this one you need to pay a membership that will cost you $50 a year. The Cosilla album, same as the Aura, also have unlimited free storage. When it's come to uploading photos into your digital photo frame, all three of them have a dedicated app that you can upload pictures easily. You can also send pictures to an email and you can upload that way, but the Cosilla album, take it a little bit farther. Besides these two methods, you can also have Google Photo and Instagram. When it comes to special features, there isn't much to talk about the Aura or the NYX Play, but there is a lot to talk about the Cosilla album. That's because it has Alexa. Picture this, you're washing the dishes, you run out of liquid detergent, and you go, hey Alexa, buy some liquid detergent. It's that easy. You can also use it to set alarms, reminders and just listen to stories, listen to the news, check the weather. I mean, this is very smart. You can also create memo. Don't forget to bring a towel. So it's like little notes, like sticky notes on the on top of say, the, the pictures that you are displaying. And that is very helpful, not just for yourself, but for any family member. Let's say you leave early to work, you wanna leave, leave a memo here for your wife or your kids, or you can create memos also for your parents, even without being at home, you can do it in the app with your phone. So incredibly helpful. Another special feature is that this one have a digital clock, not just one, have a few. 
and some preloaded artwork. So let's say you have some guests coming to your home and you don't want to show all your private pictures to everybody, right? So you can quickly change to uh, basically any digital clock that is already preloaded here. By the way, they're really nice, really nice looking digital clocks. And another thing is that this can create channels or libraries like you would in your iPhone. So you can have, for example, all the pictures of your kids, then you can have all the pictures of your wedding, all the pictures of your trip, and you can create albums according to whatever is it that you want to look at that time. When it comes to price, currently, because we are approaching Black Friday, and maybe by the time you're watching this video, we already, uh, Black Friday is done basically, but currently, as it right now, the Godzilla album is not just the smartest and, in my opinion, nicest looking, it's also the most affordable at $149, while this is $189 and this is $179. So the price here will constantly change because there are promotions, Black Friday, like Mother's Day or whatever. It's gonna be, keep changing all the time, but as it right now, the Godzilla album, um, have the best offer, um, not just on price, but to be honest, in quality and features. Okay, guys, I hope this video have helped you make a purchase decision when it comes to these three photo frames. I will put some links in the description down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, please do so. It will help this channel grow and give it a thumbs up. See ya.